Hello, users? It's always awkward starting these because I don't know if I'm technically live yet, but I assume that this video will pick up at any point um, in the middle of my, 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 my prologue. So I'd like to say hello, users. Um, I'm setting up my tunes that I jam to. Hello, users, and welcome to the environment that I am providing to you on this day. Um, first of all, I'm doing a slight reformatting. Uh, instead of doing the locally recorded clip thing and posting that as separate videos, I decided to just merge them. So I'm not going to repost the same thing in a stream and in an archive. If I find something that is interesting that I talked about in these uh, videos or in these live streams, I will just clip them separately. Um, instead of just uploading full archives as separate videos. Um, just because I think it's a little redundant. And then also, it is a little redundant. So, like, not only do I think it's redundant, but then it's, you know, in actuality, you know, it really is redundant. So, like, not okay, so my stream is working. I just had to verify that. Alright, y'all. So, rule number one of this live stream is you have to share it with your friends and family. Uh, that is rule number one. If you do not do that, chances are that I will ban you. So, you know, oops, right? That That's probably not something you want to deal with. So, definitely follow new, uh, rule number one. Share with your friends and family. Um, and at the end of the stream, anyone who was caught in the stream has to provide a receipt of them actually sharing in the stream. So I see you, I'm logging the chat room. And if you pop in, then I will be on to you and uh, you better use that time accordingly. So uh, now that I think that the stream has started and I can stop with the garbage. Um, yes, so I don't know what to talk about. I'm just kind of just winging it here. I'm just playing Path of Exile, having a good time. Though, uh, this stream is going to be part uh, parted into one and then part two. And again, the reason I did that is because I, instead of doing the individual upload archive thing, I've just decided I want to make the streams themselves archives. And as a result of that, if I switch things in the middle of a stream, it will be easier for archival purposes for me to just start a new live stream. Uh, so, yes, that is the idea. Um, so part one is going to be me playing Path of Exile. And then part two, geez. oh geez, okay. Amazing, amazing. I love that, that's just great. That's just great. Is this back? Am I, am I, am I logged back in? Hello? <laughs> Oh no! Okay, so this may or may not be back. I'm going to presume that it is back. And in the case that it is not back, I am apparently talking to myself. Um, but as I was saying, um, my strategy is going to be to divide this stream into two different parts. Um, and the first part will be me basically doing a generic Q&A like I was the past few days with Path of Exile. Um, and next I'm going to do another Halo and Chill, uh, where I play Halo multiplayer. And I will talk about in that video more of my lucid dreaming stuff. So that's the basic gist here. Um, so this is kind of less directed. There are kind of less things to talk about unless people give me things to talk about. Uh, we have a concerned chatter, actually, who's wondering, says, nice teeth, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, I, along with millions of other Americans, did not have dental insurance growing up. So that is a thing that exists. Male or female? Thank you for asking. Um, I don't know. I'm confused. Um, I'm often told that I'm confused about my gender. So I'm very confused right now. Uh, I don't know what I am. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll be a man for 10 seconds and then a woman for 34 seconds. I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. So thank you for showing up. David 
in the chat room. Another thing about this that's good is that the chat replay will be saved. That's one of my main things, is I wanted to make sure a chat replay would be saved. Cleaner Ben, who is a new viewer, who has come here recently um, with, I believe, some of the Trump outrage. So welcome, Ben, to the crew of gangsters. <laughs> that uh, is my viewer base. The most pressing matter is your preferred booze. I will only drink vodka. There is nothing else that is worth drinking. Beer is gross. Now, I will say sometimes I will try, like, you know, a Mike's Hard Lemonade or, like, a, a Smirnoff Ice or something. You know, if that's the only thing there and I'm like, fine, I'll take one, whatever, that's okay. But if I'm going to get drunk, if I'm going to make um, an effort to become intoxicated, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink vodka um, because why well, what else it one it goes with anything right so if i want oh i'm feeling i want to have some lemonade today i can get drunk oh if it's in the morning and i feel like being an alcoholic psh, put that shit in my coffee we're good to go if you don't drink vodka if you drink like whiskey or something i don't know honestly you're just a little confusing i wish i could understand you as a person um but i don't unfortunately so maybe if someone wants to have a conversation I feel like whiskey drinkers are probably more confusing than Trump supporters. I, I would like to put those on a, an, an axis of some kind and figure out what is more of a confusing uh, persona for a human being to, to grapple onwards. David Sol de Villa says, you are so funny. Thank you, David. Torin says, I know what that commenter is. Blocked. Hey, now. We gotta let them run their jokes. They've only got one joke, you know? So they join the stream. Oh, one joke, male or female, ha <laughs> ha, got him, triggered. And then at that point, we can have an actual conversation. So they got their one joke out. We're good, we're done now. And uh, we can get on to the more important stuff. Vodka literally has no taste, it's garbage. I see we have some haters in the chat room. And uh, I don't have to read out the usernames because hopefully the chat replay will be saved. So, but yeah, we got some haters up in here and I'm not a fan of the haters. At haters, I'm not a fan of you. Freak Glitcha asks, vodka and milk? Yes, I've had that. Well, actually it depends what milk. If we're using dairy milk, get out of here. I only drink my vodka with soy milk. Thank you very much. Have I ever had whiskey? No, I haven't. <laughs> that's that's actually I've never had that because there's no point. There's no point. Um, I've already made my opinion up before trying something, and that's what rational Americans do, as you can tell by the day and age that we're living in. So, um, Groist's necklace. Where do I use that? I don't know where that's supposed to go, to be honest. But uh, it's supposed to go somewhere. Less whiskey, more dental health. Hey, if you want to give me money on Patreon so I can afford a dentist, feel free. But again, most Americans don't have dental insurance. So, you know, if it's really such a big issue for you, if this is like, this is your issue. Like for me, my issue is like, you know, social justice and stuff. Maybe your issue can be dental health for everybody. Maybe you can join like the Medicare for all team. And we can actually, maybe you want to start door knocking. Like, you know, making sure people have adequate uh, availability with dental health. That would be great. Um, I think that would be a really noble cause. And if you want anyone to, like, start helping you with that, with developing that kind of uh, organizational apparatus, I do have a few organizers I would be 1,000% willing to, uh, to hook you up with. So if that's your beat, then by all means. So. Vodka and soy milk sounds horrific. Uh, soy milk is way better than dairy milk. Like, just first of all. Uh, it has like a natural sweetness to it that I appreciate. Uh, but you can also get like vanilla soy milk. And then that, that would also do you good. Dusty Scarlet says, I'm drunk. Damn. Good stuff. Alcohol for all. I'll agree with that one. That's pretty good. I love health of all kind. I'm being healthy RN at the moment even. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty healthy at the moment as well. 
Uh, I'm starting a little bit of a fast today. Um, I've decided I've eaten a little bit too many carbohydrates over the last week. So I'm going to chill out a bit, probably not eat today, and uh, see how that goes. What do you think of oat milk? It's my favorite. I've not ha I've had almond milk, but I've not had oat milk. Um so I can't I can't say. I probably shouldn't even do the the trials just because there's no real reason to. <laughs> like I'm not planning on playing this character into maps, but whatever. I would prefer if you ate food. Reminder, fasting is healthy. If uh, we want to talk about how fasting is healthy, I'm willing to talk about that. But uh, reminder, eating food is not always necessarily a good thing. It's okay to go 24 hours without eating. I promise. There have been days in which I've only eaten bread lol. I mean, that's not good. Um. That's definitely not good. A lot of carbohydrates there. You're going to want to put something on that bread. Really, for eating, it's it's less about... Um, like, it's not like, oh, I eat some bread. Like, eating bread in a 24-hour sitting is probably worse for you um, than eating nothing. Just because when you eat nothing... It, like, uh, assuming your goal is... Uh, to burn fat, which is the goal of, I think, most Americans, as we're all pretty fucking fat. So if your goal is to burn fat, eating bread is going to be less good um, than just eating nothing. Because that will just break your fast, start your metabolism up, and then just funnel carbohydrates into your system, which get converted to fat instantly. So I'm just throwing that out there. But yes, uh... I try to take a day off from eating like once every two weeks or so. Helps keep me strong. <laughs> if you're if you're so info instead of into, we have a uh, a mistype. This user cannot even spell, but I'll try to read. I'll try to convert that to English and read it anyway. If you're so into fasting, why do you no longer have any speedrun words? Jokes on you. I have a couple dozen. It's just that no one cares about them and they're not relevant. And then I also have TNT UV Max, which is a beautiful run. Nathan Purvis, welcome to the live stream. Hey, what's poppin'? The People's Party Convention is starting now. Okay, if there's anything that you want me to see, clip it. Send me a clip and I will respond tomorrow. Honestly, I can't take an event like that seriously if they have Jimmy Dore. I like I, I'm so sorry, but I just did I don't respect Jimmy Dore so much as a person that like for me having Jimmy Dore being on there it just kind of like sours the whole thing. Like I do not respect Jimmy Dore's opinion when it comes to party politics and electoralism. The guy is like a Tulsi Gabbard supporter and like a total crazy person. Like if if we're going to talk about how to strategically get the left into electoral positions to win, Jimmy Dore is the last person I want to listen to. So I'm sorry. Like, I don't particularly care. But I, I get it. They just have him on there for clout. Like, I don't, like, I'm not trying to shit on the whole group. I'm not trying to say, like, I'm just saying I'm not interested to watch. I'll watch the clips. I'll, wa I'll see what comes of it. Right? But I'm not, like, going... I'm not going to go, like, wow, I can't wait to watch this. You know, like, that's... I'm so sorry. That's just not the kind of person I am. Wow, I can't wait to hear what Jimmy Dore has to say. Like, <laughs> Sorry? I can, actually. I can, and I will wait to see what Jimmy Dore has to say. David says, playing video games in the morning and rioting at night. You're definitely the definition of success. That's correct, actually. What I do is I play video games all day in the morning. Yeah, sure, it's 4 p.m., but it's the morning, I guess. And then I go out in my rural southern town and start rioting and looting. Um, because that's what happens in real life. I live in a town with about, you know, 15,000 people or something. And I just start going around. I start rioting and looting. Um, I start stealing people's lawn gnomes. Um, you know, I just go in. So that's, that's actually correct. 
fucking riot. Every YouTuber I disagree with is a rioter. I love it. This is so good. Yeah, I mean, Nathan Purvis, I agree. Like, again, I'm not trying to discredit it. I'm just saying, for a live event, I'm not interested. Like, I will watch clips, I will check it out in post and stuff, and I will, like, you know, make my opinions, you know, I have a more general respect for them than I do the Democrats or Republicans, right? But, like, I'm not going to watch the full convention. I'm sorry. Because, like, it's, first of all, it's not, a, it's not a real party convention. It's just kind of like a little grift thing, as far as I'm concerned. Like, for me, it's like, there's no difference between that and, like, just a podcast. Like, oh, everyone, we have, you know, Jimmy Dore and Nina Turner for a little grift-off podcast. And I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, no shade on Nina. I love Nina. But I'm just saying, until there's actual outlines, to me, it just is a podcast. And the, the lineup is not interesting enough for me to watch, especially if I've got other plans. I would never waste flammable liquids by throwing them. That is exactly correct. I would rather drink a Molotov cocktail than let that go to waste. <laughs> that is exactly correct. Also, I don't know why I've got Groist's fucking necklace. I, I don't... I never remember what the hell... Like, I, this game for me is I just go on autopilot. What's the convention supposed to do? I don't know. I think the, the convention is literally just like a podcast. Like, they're just trying to, like, clout chase each other. Like, oh, we got Jimmy Dore. We got, you know, Nina Turner. I don't know who else is on there, to be honest. Like, Marianne Williamson. And then Marianne Williamson was like, I, I don't think that... I just want to show up for fun. I don't actually care about this. Which I thought was pretty good. Oh, we got Mike Ravel. Like, again, I like these people for the most part. I don't like Jimmy Dore. But I like these people. I respect these people. But I, I, I'm sorry. Like, I, I, there, there's going to need to be more for that for me to pay attention because there's a lot of other stuff I would rather pay attention to in the, the people's party convention I don't know like instead of doing that what would be cool is if they made like a weekly podcast where all those people collaborated and signal boosted uh, small content creators what I think would be more interesting is if we had like a 24 hour news broadcasting station which I know a lot of these people combined like Marianne Williamson are you kidding me like, her wealth alone could probably help fund a 24-hour news broadcasting station. So, I mean, like, that, I think, would be a more interesting project than a little People's Party podcast. You know, like, th that's just my opinion, though. Because, like, party politics is a waste of damn time. It's just a waste. I'm sorry. And so, like, unless you're actually doing anything, which I think doing something would constitute mutual aid in some kind... So if you're a leftist podcaster like Jimmy Dore, you should spend your clout, you know, posting, uh, signal boosting other leftist podcasts that are smaller than you. That's what I think. Um, and anything short of that, I think, is a grift. So. David says, nice flag behind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I've got an eye and a sense for decor. What videos? Yeah, okay, so here's another thing that I said at the start of the stream, rule number one. If you don't share this stream with your friends or family, I will ban you. So if at the end of the stream, I'm going to check all of everyone's social medias and then see if you like, even if it's a retweet or something, that's fine. You know, but if you don't share the stream on any of your socials, you're going to be banned. So I'm just letting you know that like in advance. So share the stream, everybody. But also, on another end, what you should do is share my videos on places like Reddit. Uh, I've got, like, one person that adds me to their, like, I'm going to advertise random YouTubers list. And uh, I appreciate the boost. They give me some views sometimes. So... cleaner Ben, but what if I don't have social media? Well, you're commenting with a YouTube account, so I don't buy it. r slash Tim Pool was not a fan. Yo, I gotta make more Tim Pool videos. 
Beanie Man Tim Pool, parenthesis, bald, is... I've gotten... I made a video that was like, Beanie Man Tim Pool, and then bald in parents, and I got so many comments of people, like, just harassing me for it, and I thought, I, I just love that kind of stuff. I love mocking people that mock others for a living. I'm not really into the sharing thing. Well, I'm sorry, you're a fake leftist then? As we all know, sharing is indeed caring. But again, I'm just, I'm, I'm totally serious right now. Like I know it sounds like haha funny streamer doing another one of those satire bits. This is not a satire bit. If you do not share this stream, I will ban you. Uh, so I'm <laughs> I'm just being 100 as the kids would say. And uh, I'm a kid, so that's what I say. But yes, again, I would like to reiterate that I'm going to do two parts to this live stream. And I'm going to start a new live stream in the middle of it to format it better. So that I can archive them and I don't re-upload the, um, the, the videos over and over again. That's going to be the idea. Um, what's the one that gives me phasing? Yeah. It's not, it's pro I'm not probably not going to do the second one, so it's whatever. Sharon is Karen. That is indeed correct. Sharon is actually Karen. They're the same person. Oh, whoops, I went into the PvP area. Lord have mercy, I don't want to be here. Yo, yo, Sharon is hella Gucci. Love checking out hot streams with my friends. Peace out. Word up, G. But yes, part one of Andrea's Alive, episode six, will be Path of the Exiles, which is what you're currently watching. Part two will be Halo Ampersand Chill. And in that video, I'm going to talk more about dreaming um, and a lot of my experiences over the last weeks and some new supplements that I've been trying. So this is more of a generalized Q&A. If you want to ask me whatever you can here. Um, but in the next one, I'm probably going to be a little bit more uh, directed. And I would prefer if we were to have conversations, uh, if you have questions for it to be about the subject. Um, but here, you know, it's just whatever. Oh, I got a challenge. Awesome. Too bad I don't really care for that. But I got one. So that's cool. I know there's still a lot of people that don't take lucid dreaming seriously in my follower base. Which my first question is, are you dumb? And my second question is, are you stupid? And then followed by my third question, do you need help? Um, and if you can answer all those questions, uh, I could probably put together some sort of uh, potential. Um program to help you get out of whatever you're you're stuck in because there's a lot of problems in your life q what is the best meal you've eaten at a restaurant buffet etc this is a tough question to answer because i've been a vegetarian uh basically all year and i haven't been to restaurants so any of my positive restaurant experiences are probably going to involve meat. So, big caution here. Um, but probably Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, the first time I went there, I got really drunk. And then, like, I stumbled home after eating, like, a bunch of, like, the hottest hot sauce wings. And, like, the waitresses were really impressed with me. And they were, like, being really nice to me. And uh, gave me a... I think I think pretty sure they gave me a free cider at some point. Um... Uh, because they were very impressed. And so I got really drunk. And then I stumbled home. And uh, I almost died several times. While wandering through the city streets at night. In Virginia. Have you tried being lucid during your time awake? That's actually a, that's, that's a funny question actually. Because 
part of the biggest way to learn this kind of stuff is actually not being a, a drone. A lot of people are just drones. They wake up, you know, they make breakfast, they never think about their actions, they just do them because that's what's ingrained into them. So part of lucid dreaming is to abandon a lot of that and be very, very uh, aware of your surroundings. So like, for example, look at your walls, right? You know, look at your phone, you know, put, turn it off, look at it again. If you've got a book next to you, look at your book, close it, open it, you know, observe your reality, you know, think to yourself, like what's happening right now? Is this real life? Uh, but we'll get into more of that in the next hour. Is this level 60 yet? God, no, of course not. Brooke, you play Path of Exile. What do I do with Groys Necklace? I just have this, and I don't know how to get rid of it. So tell me what to do. Freak Glitcha. Not sure I like dreams. TBH. Always leave me exhausted. That's a good thing, in my opinion. For example, last night... Uh, never. I'm going to do it in the next video. Stay tuned for the next hour. Here's a teaser. In my dream, I was at the Libertarian Convention, and it was basically basically just like AGDQ. So, that's what that's what I'm going to talk about that in the next video. But uh, for now, I will not talk about that. But that was I had a great dream last night. It was so good. Oh, it was so good. Oh, you told me put it in the altar. What is the altar? What altar? Do you mean Itor? Vicente? Also known as Mega Magic Harp, a chat room user? Dev J, do you speak any other language? Uh, no. I am a dumb, low IQ American. In the woods? <laughs> In the woods? <laughs> this game, I am not lucid when I play Path of Exile. I don't know where that is. <laughs> I'm. Unless I've got a map marker, chances are I'm not going to know what the hell's happening. Oh no. I don't know how quests work. <laughs> oh my god. What is the airspeed of an unladen swallow? I'm afraid I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Well, I don't want to go back there, Brooke. I just want to get rid of it. Like, can I put it in a stash or something? Like, how do I just get rid of it? Now, pretend Groist's necklace is uh, a fan that I uh, came over my house and I impregnated and pretend that I am Caleb Hart. I just want to get rid of it. So if I have to pay someone $7,000, so be it. I just need to get this out of my life because I honestly can't have this in my life right now. Like seriously, it's just taking up my space. Pretend I'm Michael Bloomberg and this necklace is my employee. Just need to get rid of it. Ah, oh, shit. Am I looking forward to the new Bill and Ted film? Can't say I've ever seen a Bill and Ted film. So? No? <laughs> it's hard for me to mock Southern accent. It's very easy for me to mock Southerners. One, I live here. And then two, <laughs> that doesn't matter. I've been mocking them before I moved down here. But two, they're dumb as hell. And then three, they're funny. They're like cartoon characters. And I love cartoons. If no, what are some of your favorite childhood films? Toy Story. Ah, uh, Toy Story 2.
Scooby Doo, all this in Zombie Island, Cyber Chase, all of those ones that came out in like the nineties or whatever. Um, the one with like the Hex Girls or whatever. Hell yeah. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Adjacent there, but still. Um. Yeah. Oh shit, my game is lagging. Oh no. Y'all is my favorite catchy phrase of English. Y'all is so good. I have a few people that uh, mock me for saying y'all and then they're very confused when I tell them I was born and raised in New Jersey. But y'all is just perfect English. If you don't understand why y'all is so good, one, it's gender neutral. So it's a replacement of like dude or bro or whatever, any of those cringy words that you may use if you have a low IQ. Just say y'all. Like, that's hilarious, y'all. Boom. Done. You're good. And then also, y'all is just fun to say. Y'all. It's just fun to say. I don't know what to say about that. It's just, it's a good word. It feels good in the throat, you know? And what's, what is better than something that feels good in the throat? Like, let's be honest here. Like, let's just be, as the kids say, let's keep it 100. Y'all is just good as hell. It's cultural appropriation. No y'all. Instead of no you, it's no y'all. As a Brit, I cannot bring myself to say y'all. That's a darn shame. Clearer, Ben. But that also explains your really uh, ignorant YouTube comments that you've been leaving me over the past 36 hours. So I appreciate that information. Can you describe your experience with Croc Legend of the Gobos? No? That is all? Though... Adjacent, I will do more PlayStation 1 live streams that will come back. So I'm just throwing that out there. Maybe I'll play Croc again. Who knows? Use is an Eastern Canada thing. Use? Use is an Italian mobster thing. What do you think he's doing? What do you think he's doing? Come on, I heard a lot of use in my growing up. I was very used to use. Do you like Mega Man Legends? I love Mega Man Legends, Torin. Torin, you may be a new user here, but uh, I'm a huge Mega Man fan. Tronbon, my shit. What you saying, bruv? Oh, God. That's cultural appropriation. My Italian uh, ancestors would be very upset about uh, Brits using that language. They might even go into a war over it. They did that a lot back in the day. Oh, shit. A six socket item. Alright, um, next time I find a waypoint, I'm gonna have to figure out where to put this fucking necklace. Because I'm honestly getting really triggered by this. <laughs> I really don't want it there. I hope wearing American flag Crocs doesn't get trendy in the Trump supporting community. Dude, I <laughs> there's so much cringe. 
to be had there. God damn. No gobos here. The gobos can die for all I care. I, I will not save them. Alright, let's travel to Act 7. Where do I go? The Northern Forest. The frickin' Northern Forest. Okay. Again, I'm not going to continue playing this game into maps. Uh, just because the League is going to reset soon. And they're also releasing a new expansion. So this series will continue next month. But... I will not be going into maps here. So I don't necessarily care about doing side quests and all that kind of junk. I just kind of want to beat the game. I like beating the game for each league. That's just kind of like my soft goal. That's what I do. Max out the sulfite, baby. Alright. I've finished my quest. What does Helena want to say? Better give me a book of skill. I didn't even get a book of skill. What a ripoff. That's not good. Alright, anyway. The Gobos are the uh, the fellas you have to rescue in Croc Legend of the Gobos. I'm thinking... Um, anyone who's been a viewer of mine for more than 2020, I'm thinking of bringing back some of the classic speed game stuff. However, if I do that, I would need to consult with y'all and craft a list of uh, an order to do these uh, video games in. So, I'm just throwing that out there. Tropical Island map! There's nothing worse than a linear map. The woods in the northern forest are pretty thick. Yep. Thick woods. God bless. Well, obviously, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories will be the first game I will play. Duh. Come on, man. I still want to finish that um, playthrough I started a couple months ago. But I stopped getting high every day. So, like, it's harder to do a series that's predicated upon being high when I'm, I'm not getting high every day. And when I do get high, I, there's that's just not nearly as high on the priority list. I just want to get high, man. In other words. Bring back a classic, Speedpunk. Speedpunk's high on the list. Oh my god, stop, freak. God bless. the hell are these buggers? So again, I'm not trying to be too redundant here, but I'm going to re-explain the formatting for these live streams. Uh, I will be taking a small 5-ish, 10 minute break, and I will be starting a new live stream on a new page. And, um, so, just throwing that out there. That way it's easy. I don't need to re-upload videos. The chat archive is there. Everything is good to go. So, you can join my Discord if you want to be notified. Oh my god, I can't wait till the resurgence of Kicking 222.
I know it's not gonna happen, but God, I'd love to have a new speedrun related drama cycle like the RE4 one. Hey, you never know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, like, the future is unpredictable. <laughs> the dick man. Reminder, I, I used to do Resident Evil 4 speedruns at marathons, like live streamed events and stuff I would guest appear on. And I would always call it the dick man. The uh, the glitch that's actually called the dick man, but a lot of people have the un like misunderstanding it's called dit man. And so I would just call it, I would just do it like, <laughs> like I would just say, all right, now I'm going to do what's called the dick man glitch. And then like two minutes later, people in the chat would say, isn't that called the dit man, not dick man? And I'd be like, no, it's actually called dick man. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a common typo, but it's actually Dick Man. And then, like, I actually would convince people. I would actually legitimately have people. Like, I remember one time someone from an, an enemy streamer, so to speak. Um, I was watching a clip, and then they, someone posted Dick Man in their chat room because they watched, like, me stream Resident Evil 4, and they had no idea it was called the Dit Man. And, that, and then they had, like, a really, like, or as, a, you know. I forget which side of this, but that, that was really good. God bless the dick man, dude. Best glitch in any game ever. I thought it was genuinely called Dick Man, but they censored it for palatable marathon. Oh my god. I can't tell if that's a joke or not, but. It's called the Dit Man glitch because the original user on GameFAQs who first reported its username was Dit Man. But I prefer Dick Man because that's funnier, so. Hey, maybe when Resident Evil 8 comes out, I'll do a day one speedrun. Reminder, I did the first speedrun ever of Resident Evil 7. And uh, there were like five speedruns on the first day, and I was one of them. Now, granted, I may have been the worst. I don't quite remember. It's totally possible I was the worst, but I was the first. And uh, there was a, an article on Kotaku, and it listed all the speedrunners that completed RE7 in a speedrun. Um, on the first day, and I was the only one left out of the list. So that is one of my my great pains in my life, that I have been harassed and neglected by mainstream media. And that's why I started my political crusade, so that now media is going to have to pay attention to me. Those are the rules. Name the first glitch you'll find, Dick Man. That's that's a very compelling reason to do that. I really should get new equipment. I'm still using like gloves and boots from like the beginning of the game. Actually, no, I think I switched my boots, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's from the beginning of the game. That's from the beginning of the game. Yeah, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to get actual equipment. I'm literally using shit that I found on the ground when I was like level three, and I'm level sixty-one. I forgot I have an exalted orb. I should just blow that on buying good equipment on the marketplace. I'm going to do that, I think, tonight or in between the next recording sessions. I'm just going to blow the exalted orb I found on a bunch of equipment and then just speed run to the end of the game. I'm cooking some nasty hot dogs while watching. That's not good. You should be cooking something that is not made of animal parts because that is gross.
like, you know, generally you try to pick up new items and use them. Yeah, generally. But I'm counterculture. So? I'm a patriot. I support the government. Look how counterculture I am. I support the most powerful person in the history of the world. I'm so edgy. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, not, I'm just going to ignore the harvest stuff. I just don't understand it. Dev J says, I'm an animal. We all are animals, but it doesn't mean we have to end the lives of other animals. That's rude. Where should I go for like just easy health? There's like easy health somewhere. Should I like go up here? Written in blood? I never can remember the skill tree for the life of me. There's gotta be, ah, right here, okay. Boom. Love to see it. Hello, Charlie Walker. Game looks pretty. It is indeed pretty. I tried to be vegan, but I'm weak. I don't, I disagree. You are not weak. You are less weak and more so didn't have proper convictions in, for, in your reason for becoming a vegan. Now my reasons for becoming a vegetarian are I respect animals um, and I don't want to contribute to their deaths. Um, and with that is my main reason. So far I'm pretty good. It's been like what, I think like five or six months now I stopped counting, but uh, it's been pretty good. And also like meat isn't that good. Like, my main thing was meat doesn't taste good. It's just the sauce and everything else that you put meat. Like, if you eat, like, like steak, like, rare steak and nothing else, then you're a freak show, right? But, like, chances are when you eat meat, you're putting sauce on it. You're using ketchup. You're putting, like, cheese on it. You're doing some shit. You're not just eating a hot dog straight out of the pan and going, like, God damn, that's so goddamn tasty. Chances are there's other parts and seasonings that are the actual desirable uh, things there and meat are just a vehicle. At least that was my case. So I just, you know, it was pretty easy for me to just quit that shit. Did you watch that Game Changers doc? I've never heard of that. So I don't know what you're talking about, sadly. Who changed the game and what game was changed? Those are my questions. I keep dying, man. I don't know, like, meat eating is just like, I'm sorry, but in 50 years from now, that shit's gonna be controversial, and I'm just getting in ahead of the time. Like, I don't know, I would eat lab-grown meat, you know, but like, like, just, if you're a meat eater, it's like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like, hello? I don't know, it's just strange. Like, I can get it if you live in an area that, like, actually has scarcity. And, like, the only thing you can eat is meat. Then I understand. Then we can have a conversation. But, like, if you live in the United States of America. Like, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. But there are other options. You know, like, I'm, like, I, oops, right? I'm so sorry. But there are other options if you live. And I, you know, like, and this is, like, a generally thing. Um. How about lap-grown meat? Hey, I'll back that up. I will eat lap-grown meat any day of the week. Af Jellicor says it's controversial right now, as it should be. Another thing is like, again, we need to completely restructure how we feed ourselves. And this is something I say a lot, is the only reason why humans eat meat is because we were scavengers. We would, in the African savannas, what we would do is we would stalk tigers and saber-toothed cats. And what we would do is pick 
on the remains of the animals that they had killed. So meat was literally a last resort, and it was one of the highest calorie dense and the best high calorie dense food that could fuel us for our growing brains. So the idea that we're still eating meat, right, when there is no more food scarcity, you know, that's just strange because meat is not healthy for the body. It, 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 it can be healthy, but there are always healthier plant-based alternatives. There is never like a situation where meat is the healthiest thing possible. Like, I'm, it's just, I'm sorry, that's not a thing. Um, sign says, what about oxalates? I'm afraid I don't know what an oxalate is. This is the part where I expose myself. The viral clip. I looked it up and I still don't know what it is. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to help me out here. Oxalates aren't healthy, but plants are full of them. Well, here's the thing. All food isn't like, it's not like everything you're going to eat is, wow. You, it's like, it's not like there's some super food out there. That, like, otherwise we'd be like eating like the, the splooge in like the, the sci-fi movies or the astronauts eat, right? Like we're about harm reduction. Meat has far more potential for disease and cancer than plant-based stuff does. Hello, Lilith Matthew. Lilith, you're going to like the next, uh, next hour. In about 10 or 15 minutes here, I'm going to switch the live stream. And we're going to talk about dreaming. We're going to talk about meditation. We're going to talk about expanding your mind. And that's going to be in the next hour. So definitely tune in for that. Can you get the necessary nutrition without supplements? Yes, very easily. Are you in support of vegan styled meat? I found that strange. Like a vegan sausage or vegan steak. Psychologically strange to me. Yes, I'm fine with that. I eat vegan uh, meat substitutes all the time. They're fun. The whole idea of meat is to have something that absorbs flavor, seasoning, and spice. So plants do that. But when you make specific processed products that are more like geared toward, you know, having an absorption rate similar to meat, which is really what like beyond meat is. It's just like it just absorbs seasoning and spice and sauce and stuff in the similar ways that actual meat does. That's again, that's the number one thing. So they make a lot of sense. First of all, why do we put sausage in like these plastic cases? You know, like that doesn't make any sense. Like it's just ground up garbage, right? Like what doesn't make sense is putting it into like some weird like plastic-ish thing. That doesn't make sense. So if you, if you think vegan meat substitutes are strange, I mean, I don't know. There's a lot more we could have conversations about that would probably be bringing a more enlightened uh, result. I did water fasting for 40 days, only drinking water, nothing else. 40 days, that's impressive. If you wouldn't mind, what were your start, uh, what was your start weight and what was your end weight? I know 40 days is not good unless you've got like a decent amount of fat stores in your body. Otherwise you will definitely get sick. But I know, I think the world record for water fasting is 382 days by someone who was like 400 or 500 pounds. And they slimmed all the way down to like 180 or something. So. The longest I've ever fasted was when I was a poor child and I went like five days without eating once. I didn't count. So it's like, it could have been five. It could have been seven. I don't know. Somewhere in that range. I'd like to do a week long fast. I'm planning on doing it at some point. Um, maybe I'll start it today. I don't know. We'll see. Easier for dogs to run out of butchers with a string of them in their mouths. That is true. That is true. I support dogs in all of their ventures.
I fasted for two days once, never again. I mean, again, it totally depends on your body composition. If you're like a relatively healthy person, fasting, I mean, fasting for two days is still, you know, it can have its health benefits. Um, but like, it's not like you need to, like there's no real reason to. But doing a uh, 36 hour fasts every now and again is really good for make it for like for cancer prevention um because it speeds up the rate at which your body gets rid of uh of dead cells it speeds up the uh the process that i believe is called autophagy though i always get this confused it might not i think it's autophagy is the one um and so that's good so if you can implement like a 36 hour fast into your schedule, which should not be too difficult, um, there are some serious benefits to be had. And this is only like once every few months. You don't like, this isn't something you should do like once a week or something, obviously, but once every couple of months, if you do that, it can be beneficial. Were they Scottish? That's good. Of course. Reminder, the dogs can be vegan. That is true. If you're feeding meat to your dogs, I'm sorry. You're a bad person and I'm going to cancel you. I'm going to call your employer and tell them that your dog isn't vegan and then I'm going to cancel you. Get cancel cultured. I'm fine with the physical substitute, but the branding? Why brand it after a meat dish? Why not give these dishes their own identity? I assume it's simply to sell. Yes, marketing and capitalism are the reasons for that. 1000%. Marketing, capitalism, the world we live in. I do agree, giving them like a new identity would be cool. I agree with that. But uh, we live in a capitalist world and uh, that literally seeps into every single aspect of your life. Everything is politics. Everything is influenced by capitalism. Your favorite movie is influenced by capitalism. What was their budget like? How do they treat their employees, etc., etc.? Like, what were the restrictions? Why were there, like, were there time dates that, you know, this had to be done in this time? Like, anything you like could have probably been better if it weren't for capitalism. Like, that's just a general message um, that you should be aware of. If you want to go live in the woods, I mean, go for it. Have fun. But, uh... I guess it doesn't matter what I say, because you're in the woods. You're no longer part of society, so... I don't need to approve or disapprove. Nice unique, man. Adding to my collection. Notice how Pepsi and Coke have their health line and then their normal line. Yeah, like the, the like, zero, like, real cane sugar kind. And then, like, you know, diet kind. Like, yeah, it's all marketing. The woods will likely belong to someone that paid for it and tell you to leave. That's also true. You need to go deep in the woods. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to the next waypoint. I've made pretty good progress. Like I've almost finished act eight. Um, so I've made pretty good progress just kind of like speeding through like a little loser. Um, so once I hit the next waypoint, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bathroom, stop the stream. And I will link the next stream. It's also on my page, but I will link it uh, to ensure that you are there. But uh, the next hour of this stream will be more focused on dreaming, uh, exploring your inner consciousness, all that good stuff. Because I haven't made a video on that in a while, and I've done a lot more experimentation. So my, my mind is wiser.
Yeah, I, I've heard a lot about, like, there's, like, multiple people that have just, like, lived in the woods and have survived off of, uh, tourists or, like, just, like, actual hunting or something like that. I think that's interesting, but that's not the life for me. I'm convinced the Zero line of products are still shitty. I mean, anything with aspartame in it, you know, over time, definitely hits you. The thing is, it's more of like a thing of like, is it better? Sure. But is it healthy? No. Huh? So is aspartame better for you than sugar over a, a long period of time? Probably. Sugar is one of the deadliest things that a human body can have on a regular basis. It leads to some of the worst, like, negative health outcomes. Um, but is aspartame going to be better than neither? Of course not. You know, so, like, you have to kind of... It's a balance anything. Chucked him in prison for... That sucks. For living his best life. But yeah, so if anyone has any more questions before I cut the stream um, and load up the, the second hour of, of content, ask me now. I'll give you all like two more minutes, whatever. Lightning round, hit me. Let's go. Did I already run out of fucking wisdom scrolls? What the hell, man? Holy shit. <laughs> the zero line of products are like, look, you don't need to quit. I'm right here for you, baby. Damn right. Please coddle me, Pepsi. Please. Favorite non-meat meal? Well, I don't eat meat, so... I guess you're just asking me about my favorite meal. Uh, my favorite meal? Salsa and chip. That is my favorite meal. My second favorite meal? Pasta. I got something to say. Hear me out. Anyway, I feel like a boomer when I do not have internet. I, yes, that is, I cannot live without the internet either. I mean, I could, but it's like, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> it's that simple. But yeah, so I am going to cut the stream. And I will link in the comment section. You can also just go to my channel and find the next stream, part two of Andrea's Alive, episode six. Um, but I will send you that link right to now. So I will be live in this location. Um, I believe there's also like a live page for my channel that will like just broadcast whatever's live, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, but either way, I will be there, um, and we will be talking about dreaming. Oh, God. Lives matter. If you put something in front of that, you are racist. What's that? You'll do nothing. You'll do fucking nothing. How is it, and why is it, that we get the, the Trump buffoons as I'm ending the stream? Now, I'll consider playing with this guy if they show up in the next one, but the next one's going to be a lot more of a targeted discussion. Um... But goddamn, we always get the Trumpers right at the worst time. You really hate to see it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Y'all have a good one. This is now the awkward part where uh, I'm going to look at this and then click end stream. 
and it's probably going to be really, you know, really strange. But just, you know, bear with me.